So Google's actually basically changed the way they're indexing websites. They're using new algorithms and they're looking at the, the way people are engaging with your content rather than how many keywords you have in your website. They're looking at who's sharing your content and they're looking at where it's being shared to. So let's talk about the user experience, me visiting the website. What do I want to see? So when, when somebody's visiting your website, you want to make sure that the first thing that you would want them to see is your unique selling proposition in big bold letters is the first thing they see when they, when they land on your, your website. So this is what we do. This is what we do, exactly. Uh, the second thing you want to, you want to explain is, is how you're doing it. How we work. Exactly. And then for me, one of the most important things that you can explain is why they should choose you and why you, you've decided to do what you're doing. Okay. Why use us, in a why sense. Why use us, exactly. And how do I know if my website's effective? What do I use as a measure? So the best thing that you can use to measure your website success is to have really strong call to actions across all of your website. What's a call to action? Okay, a call to action is, is what you would, like, you would like people to do when they reach your website. So for example, if you have a, a lead generation website, you want people to inquire. If you have an e-commerce website, you want people to buy now. And if you have a subscription website, you want people to give you their email address. Okay, so I go to this great expense and I go to this great effort and I create a beautiful website, but it sits there in the ether. How do I draw people there? Okay, so a few ways that you can draw people to your website is using social media. That's probably one of the main ways. So just creating a Facebook page um, and actually driving traffic to your website from your Facebook page. That's one of the ways and, and the way you can do that is basically uh, when you post an article on your website, you want to share that onto your Facebook page as well. So you use your Facebook page as a way to build up that community and then you drive that community back to your website. And that's free. That's one of the free ways you can do it, but there's a better way you can do it. Tell me. And that is Google and Facebook pay-per-click advertising. And how that works is you actually are paying to create a steady stream of targeted leads towards your, uh, towards your website. Okay, so there's some money that's going to be involved in there. There is money that's involved, but you, it's a pass-up between the fact that you're getting, you're getting really the right people looking at your website and you've got Excellent. that consistency. Great, Mark. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.